Hey, welcome back. So for this video, we're going to go ahead and make this spring right here. Keep in mind, it's made of several sketches, several planes, ultimately to create one composite curve that we will eventually sweep and create this product right here. For step one, we need to create a new document and we need to make sure that our workspace units are in inches. So I already have my new document. I'm checking my units. I'm in inches. We're going to create our sketch on the right plane. So go ahead and click on the right plane and sketch. For step two, we're creating a circle with two construction lines. So let's go to our right plane. Start out with the construction lines. So the first one will be vertical, connected to the origin, and then to the left. So in this case, my two lines are not construction lines, so now I need to make the construction lines. And now we're going to go ahead and make a circle. Oops. So once again, these two lines are construction lines. So we're good. These two points right here will have a horizontal relationship. And then these two points right here will have a vertical relationship. Now we're going to make this line tangent to their circle. And then this line also tangent to our circle. Now we need this diameter right here. Let's go ahead and size out this as 0.375. Or zoom in. Check our constraints. All right, let's accept. For step three, we're going to use a helix feature. Let's zoom in. Open up this drop down menu right here. Select helix. We're going to use turns and pitches. We're going to go counterclockwise and we're selecting this edge here. And for evolutions, we're going to type out 7.25. Notice we went from four, 7.25. Helical pitch will be 0.085. Start angle is at zero degrees. And we're good. Make sure you hit the check mark. For step four, we're going to create a new sketch on our front plane. So let's just go to our front plane, select sketch, the front plane. Let's zoom in right here. So we're going to create an arc and then two lines. Let's try our arc. We're going to connect it here at this point, at the edge of our first helix. And notice this is going to create a vertical relationship. We do not want that. Just hit, hold the shift key and press. Notice this is not vertical. Now I'm going to add a line from this point here. Go up and then to the left. And notice this is horizontal. Now I'm going to use a uh, fillet to round out these two lines. And I'll have a value of 0 0.08. This arc is tangent to this line, and it's also tangent to this line here. So it looks a little bit smaller. We'll fix that in a moment. So let's make sure we change this right here. So let's have a value of 0 0.0625. Oops, it's 0.625. So now the distance between this point and this point will be a value of 0 0.5. The distance between this point and this portion of our arc will have a value of 0.5. Make sure this is 0 0.08. And we're good to go. Hit the check mark. Now for step five, we're going to go to our top plane. So create a new sketch, select the top plane. Notice it reads top plane, reorient. We're going to do, we're going to do what we just did before, one arc and two lines. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. But we're starting off right at this point. Notice we do not want a vertical relationship. So just go off a little bit. Make it. Let's make our line. And then another line that's horizontal. So these two are tangent. This is tangent. This measurement right here is 0 0.625. 
we're going to use a fillet. So we're going to fill it this edge. 0 0.08 is good. The distance from this point and this point right here will have a value of 0.5. Since from this point to this point, I have a value of 0.5 as well. And we're pretty much good. Notice we have our tangent relationships. We're going to add one more tangent between these, between this fillet and this line. And we're good. For step six, we're going to create a new plane. So let's angle this. Let's hide our front plane and then our right plane. We don't need those right now. So select plane. We're going to click on this point. This is going to be plane point. So notice this reads plane point right here. And then I select this face. So notice vertex of sketch two, top plane, and we create this plane that's hovering above the top plane. And we hit the check mark. All right, so now we're going to create a new sketch on this plane right here. So let's go to the top view. Let's go ahead and hide our curve. Notice we're hiding our curve right now. So now that we've hidden our curve, let's create a sketch and we're going to do this on plane number one. Let's zoom in. I'm going to use the arc tool. Click on this point here on the edge. We'll get a line and then another line. We're going to fillet this corner here. Points are right, it's good. Want to make this tangent to this. And then this is equal to this here. There's also going to be tangent here. And the distance between this line and this line, I have a value of 0.5. The distance between this point and this point will have a value of 0.375. And we're done. Hit the check mark. Now we're going to create another plane, so go ahead and click on plane. We're going to use plane point. We're selecting this point here. And then we're also going to select the front face. So notice we just created a plane right on here and hit the check mark. We're going to hide plane one and the top plane. All right, so let's go to plane number two. Let's check our front view, zoom in. We're creating a sketch and we're selecting plane two. Let's go ahead and hide our curve. So we're going to add an arc right to this edge here. And then a line going up. That's vertical. This arc will have a value of 0 0.08. And it will be tangent to this line up here and to the bottom line. The distance between this point and this line will have a height value of 0.375. And now we're finally adding a horizontal relationship to this point here and our origin. And go ahead and accept. For step 10, we're going to now create a composite curve. So let's go ahead and click on this, select composite curve. We're going to highlight everything here and hit the check mark. For step 11, we're creating our final plane. So select plane. At this point, select this point here. And this is going to be called point normal. And then hit this line here. Go on and accept. Step 12, we're creating a circle right on the plane that we just created. So create a sketch, select plane number three. We're going to look at our right side view. And all you need to do is create a circle that is right here. So once again, we're zooming in on this region here and just create a circle that's coincidental to the edge. And if we zoom out, notice that we created this circle right here. Let's go ahead and resize it to have a value of 0 0.08 and just accept. Step 13, we're going to sweep this circle across this path. So select sweep. We're going to select solid, new. 
faces will be this. Sweep path will be this entire spring. So notice it's curve two. If your curve two wasn't selected, maybe curve one was selected. So make sure you hide this one and only work with curve two. So go ahead and hit the check mark. Every step 14, we're just going to rename this new part to read spring. And lastly, please do your self check with mass properties down here. So you're going to select the mass properties, select this entire part, and you're going to get a value right here in the surface area. Go ahead and check your answer using the self check. And what you'll see is that your answer will be correct. So anyways, thanks for watching and enjoy the other videos.